Glad to see everybody still here. Joe, were you here earlier or are you just showing up now? Very well, okay. Okay. Questions? Anything about what we just did? Well, I'm planning on winning, but anybody who wants to get in the race, uh, welcome to the arena. Uh, school mask Jamie. mandates, you tweeted yesterday about, in relation with the new CDC guidance, um, about how they included a budget proviso that said state funding can't go towards school districts. That That's what our state mandates. said. Right. What is to say, if a school district imposed a mask mandate, said they were not using state funds to do it, um, is that a potential loophole here? Is there anything you can There's do? no way to do that. There's no way to have a mandate issued by the school without some one way or another using state funds because state funds permeate everything that the schools did. But the law says, and I, the legislature agreed with me, I think it was last April, I said no more school, let the parents make the decision whether they want their children to wear masks to school. The legislature agreed, it's now the law, and I would advise any school district to follow the law. That they, there have been some lawmakers who point out that some school districts have local funding. That they, they are in error. Sorry? They are in error. The state funds permeate everything in the school. There's no way to uncommingle funds that are in the school processes. Uh, on a separate issue, uh, the federal housing or federal eviction moratorium is set to expire in just a, a couple of days. Um, there have been some housing advocates who have asked you to uh, put in a, a state level moratorium. A few states have done that now California, New York, Washington, and Illinois. Uh, is that something you would consider? No, sir. Those uh, moratoria have been in effect for m many months now. We are looking for people to go to work. We have thousands of jobs and employers that are have jobs for people. We have training, we have help for anyone who wants to take these jobs. It's time for all of us to get back to work. That's, that is the way to go forward, is to be working. I actually did ask them about that too, and they said, you know, if someone just went back to work, um, they may still be struggling to, to catch up to overdue bills and still face the risk of um, eviction if there's not uh, a more At some point, you, these, these measures, these emergency measures must end, and uh, they have, they've ended in South Carolina. Governor, you said that you trust South Carolina. I think that we have taken the correct approach to the virus. Uh, our state uh, business is, is growing uh, compared to other states. We are uh, booming. Many took uh, more draconian methods. They went too far. I think we did it right. And by doing it right, we will continue to do it right. And that is to be sure that all of our people have access to the vaccines as well as to all the information that's available about the vaccines. Uh, Peggy and I took the vaccination, our children did. Uh, that's a decision for everyone to make, but we, but we know this from what we see in the hospitals that they, the uh, vaccinated people are not coming into the hospital. So we, it is clear that the vaccine works. It's an, it's an individual, it's individual choice, but as, as information comes in uh, about variants, about uh, what's happening in other states, all these sorts of things, it is a topic for discussion. But we, what we are doing as a state, we're not going to require anybody to do that, but we will give them all the information and make it available, both the information and the vaccine available to them, uh, easily available to them. No, sir. Won't. No, sir. I've had the virus and been vaccinated, so has Peggy. I do not plan to wear a mask. No, sir. Governor, you don't plan on trying to get other people or suggesting other people should be wearing masks? 
Didn't we just hear that question a minute ago? You want to hear it again? We're going to give the C to it. Our state is taking the right course. We're not imposing government regulations, unnecessary ones, which were done in some other places. But we used common sense and relied on our institutions getting the information out the correct information and getting the vaccine, the vaccine itself and the vaccination locations out to them to make their decision. Governor, on the subject, not of COVID, but of the DJJ, how would you describe the state of the DJJ Broad River Road complex almost two months after the walkout? And what do you see as items that are still yet to be done? We have a team there that has been there for some time that is going through the personnel and financial and other systems there to see where the shortcomings are if there are any also the state law enforcement division is there been there now for over a month i believe uh, we're getting information back and we are um, going to make substantial improvements if and anywhere those are necessary two more questions if there are governor going back to the mask mandates and all that things we're pretty clear on what you would you know what you've been saying but if things change if these variants become more if if we listen to the national press and some of the so-called experts in their dissemination of hysteria and hyperbole and exaggeration everybody will be scared to death i say do not listen to that listen to competent sources uh, don't let don't let the hysteria wave get you. But listen to competent sources and make your decision. Governor, based on just what you just said right there, CDC, the head superintendent chairman today, urging people to wear masks, urging people to wear masks. Not concerned with sending mixed messages uh, from the leadership of the state about well, this crisis. No, I, I don't think so. I think the people of the state have gotten the message loud and clear as this is a decision for them to make and the state has done exactly what it's supposed to do. And that is to give them the means to help and protect themselves. And it's almost impossible to get away from the information that so many competent sources that are, are, are producing it for the, the people of our state. But I think, we've, I think we've done the right thing. The one thing that some of the experts have done is fail to listen to the parents. You got to listen to the parents. The parents know their children. They know what's good for them. They know the school system. And, and a lot of our experts are, are not listening to parents. That's the magic word is parents. Listen to the parents. Understand what the, how they see it. And when you match that up with the information, at, with the accurate information, and discard all the hyperbole and hysteria that's being promoted around the country, then that's why South Carolina is doing very well.